Okay, and I'm sorry, one more thing. Did you say you were going to leave this early? Uh, I've already picked it up. Okay. All right, corner three is torqued. Two click. Uh, barely an eighth of a turn. Copy that, Rick. Copy, Rizinski. BRT is no problem. We'll make a note of it. This is Mission Control Houston. Approaching the two-hour mark into today's spacewalk by Rick Mastracchio and Dave Williams, the uh, spacewalk team in the International Space Station Flight Control Room reports all four uh, bolts uh, now hard-mated. Uh, the starboard five truss now permanently attached to the starboard four truss segment. The uh, two spacewalkers now will uh, be working to remove a grapple fixture on the S-5 truss segment that was used uh, for the handoff between the shuttle uh, robotic arm and the station's robotic arm yesterday uh, during the initial unberthing of S-5 from Endeavour's payload bay and the handoff to the Canadarm2, the station robotic arm. This uh, grapple fixture on S-5, now that it is permanently installed on the truss segment of the International Space Station, interferes with the rotation of the beta gimbal assembly for one of the two solar array wings on the S-4 truss that was installed uh, back on the STS-117 mission in June. So the spacewalking crew must remove this grapple fixture and relocate it to the keel position on S-5. The keel is essentially the mounting platform upon which the S-5 uh, was launched in the payload bay. Hey, Dave, we'll take a uh, look at your gloves when you're ready. Okay, now would be a good time. Two hours, 16 minutes into today's spacewalk, Rick Mastracchio and Dave Williams working on the S-5 uh, truss segment, now a permanent fixture on the International Space Station as the station and Endeavour uh, begin to approach the west coast of South America, moving from southwest to northeast, soon to cross the equator at an altitude of 214 statute miles. This 12th spacewalk of the year. The 89th spacewalk in support of station assembly and maintenance uh, going by the book so far, in fact, ahead of schedule as the spacewalkers, uh, Mastracchio wearing the suit, uh, bearing the red stripes, uh, Dave Williams uh, behind him uh, toward the bottom of your screen, each in their first spacewalk uh, running about 45 minutes ahead of the timeline as they begin to work uh, to relocate a uh, grapple fixture. Uh, from uh, one location uh, to the keel portion, basically uh, at the base of the S-5 truss. The keel uh, was the uh, implement upon which uh, the S-5 truss was launched in the payload bay of Endeavour. The relocation of this grapple fixture is required uh, to enable uh, one of the two solar wings, the 3A wing, on the uh, starboard 4 truss segment. Uh, the beta gimbal assembly must rotate uh, to enable the uh, solar array to position itself uh, properly in relation to being able to track the sun. It cannot uh, rotate unless this uh, grapple fixture is relocated. And so using a pistol grip tool, uh, Rick Mastracchio, whose helmet camera view you're looking at right now, along with Dave Williams, uh, will unbolt this grapple fixture and relocate it uh, to the keel. The grapple fixture also can be used in the future um, as a spare in the event uh, another uh, such grapple fixture uh, does not work on another one of the uh, components that could be moved from one location to another on the International Space Station. Copy that, Rick. Let me know when you're starting. Okay, here we go. And we're watching your clearances with the solar ray box. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, I feel motion. Williams uh, carefully uh, maneuvering the uh, grapple fixture and its frame over to the uh, keel side of the S-5 truss. As you can see, there are actually two grapple fixtures. One uh, was grappled uh, by the shuttle robotic arm 
to lift the S-5 out of Endeavour's payload bay yesterday. The other grapple fixture was used uh, to hand off uh, this uh, S-5 truss segment uh, from the shuttle arm to the station arm yesterday in preparation for its installation earlier this afternoon. crew has uh, moved on to some get-ahead tasks and uh, in the process a uh, get-ahead task to mate S5 to S4 umbilicals. This is a uh, get-ahead task to set the stage for the um, arrival of the S6 uh, solar array pair scheduled for next year. Is that the uh, even corner? J42 right here. Yep, I see that. Okay. 44 and 46. All right, that looks good. I triple checked all these connections. You know, making sure they're rotated. Here comes the odd side. 43 and 45. See those? I see them. Okay. Uh, we just now got the. Oh, okay. We were recording. I'm afraid we weren't. But uh, okay, I can see. 43, 45, and 41, just little one right 41. That's all of them. All right, great job. Four hours, 15 minutes into the spacewalk, this view of Rick Mastracchio on the outside of the International Space Station, clearing uh, all of his tethers from the work area. Station flight control team confirming that the two astronauts are clear of the uh, beta gimbal assemblies of the uh, solar rays on the outer portion of the uh, trust structure that allowing the team here in uh, mission control to begin uh, tracking the sun once again with those solar rays activating the beta gimbal assemblies and the um, solar alpha rotary joints. This view of uh, Dave from Dave Williams' uh, helmet camera looking uh, to, toward the other side of the uh, now retracted radiator on the P6 truss element at uh, Rick Mastracchio. You want seven eighths of a turn, huh? Yeah, you're on H12? Yeah. Yes. The shuttle and station complex traveling uh, 215 statute miles above the Gulf of Mexico. Inside the Quest Airlock Shuttle Commander Scott Kelly, along with uh, Expedition 15 Flight Engineer Clay Anderson, uh, assisting Rick Mastracchio, uh, who's climbed out of the upper portion of his spacesuit now, uh, with uh, the cleanup activities after today's uh, six hour, 17 minute spacewalk. <laughs> 